would go back You must be missing me so bad When you left you said that I don't deserve you But I can see that you don't wanna lose what we had Oh you're the one that I need Let's just sneak in slow and just breathe Loving someone is not easy, you know, you know But it makes us feel alive, so we go What is going down YouTube? It is currently the 30th of December 2019. We're really close to 2020 and let's face it, over the past few months I've been pretty lame with uploading videos one thing and another and there is a reason behind that, which I will go into later on in this video. However, I wanted to set the platform out for 2020. Um, part of the reason why I've not been filming so much is that I've had nothing that I've necessarily been aspiring towards other than um, a degree of weightlifting training, doing heavy compound lift builds, um, such as uh, deadlifting, uh, benching and things like that. And with work and everything else, it's been really busy, but who cares about that? Let's get on with the video. Let's talk about 2020 goals, aspirations, and what we're here for. So today's gonna to be a little bit of a vlog, maybe a little bit of a workout, a little bit of drone footage, and we're going to this thing called Lightopia later on, which is supposed to be kind of cool lighting in the park with Theo. And I'm gonna to talk to you about my 2020 goals, aspirations. One of them being that in May, I am running a marathon, which is gonna be super, super cool. Uh, and I'm gonna aim for a foot sub four hour time, which means that I can share my journey with you in amongst my uh, training plans, weight loss program, uh, how to get fitter, faster and run quicker. So that's all gonna be really excited. So from here on in, let's go, let's start the day. So let's mix it up and get some lunch. Oh God. So basically the sound quality is gonna be horrendous because um, I've been, Biting the bullet for a while with this microphone and I've like used eight reams of Gorilla Glue to try and fix it uh, but it's not worked. I've talked about this a lot in the past about uh, where I live and how amazing sort of it is and how lucky I am to live in this area that on my doorstep there's all these wonderful kind of views. I've got a bit of a walk to get up to it. There's the little lad. You can see him over there. But yeah, it's, it's just a really nice place to kind of um, come up to and relax. They're doing some new builds over there, but it's like a hotel um, and uh, and they're building some new houses and everything. But yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous day for the 30th. It's like eight or nine degrees, which is which is unheard of for this time of the year. I, I think this is a bit of a piecemeal video, this, I think, really, but um, hopefully you'll enjoy it and get something out of it. Good. I need to uh, I tell you this now, as Kim wipes off the poo from Theo's shoes. <coughs> I uh, I can't believe, basically for, for a year, eight, two years I've had this drone. And there's been issues with the quality of the footage. Look at these two. Uh, and I've wondered what the hell was going on. Uh, so I've read loads of stuff on it and I never found, found out that I'm supposed to have an SD card in the TJI Spark, in the actual drone itself. And I've always just had it in my phone and assumed that it would record to my phone. I just, and my footage has always been so shit and I've just not known why and that's why. So I've come here to record and it's still not recorded the same quality. So I'm gonna come back and get some more decent footage tomorrow. Just what a fucking numpty. Lesson to be learned, read the instructions. Just love me harder. Right, Theo, you're gonna say hello. hello. We're gonna go see some lights, aren't we? Mummy there? Yeah. Yeah. So we're just off to this light show <laughs> um, at Heaton Park. Just had to queue up for 25 minutes to pay for parking, <laughs> which wasn't great. I keep, I, I keep like spluttering with these new teeth. 
keep keep Tom keeps it in the front of them. Um, so I don't know where we're going now, but I'll uh, get off to the park. Yeah. Lions. Oh, it's moving, is it? Don't touch. You roar again. So I am really not having a good day when it comes to the uh, digital videography today. Um, I just realised I've been filming the whole stuff with the through the light show uh, in manual focus. So hopefully that's all come through okay. Uh, but that kind of concludes where I'm up to. I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things that are going on now. I'm going to continue on with the YouTube channel. I enjoy doing it, and this is my goal and aspiration for the new year. I want to upload now a sequence of videos that are a run up to the marathon in May. So I'm going to upload my training, my diet in. I'm currently sitting at about 83 kilos, maybe like 13 stone. I'm going to bring that weight right down 10, 15 kilos, not quite 15 kilos, but you know, maybe down to about 11 stone ish as I start training through the marathon and trying to get to that suboptimal four hour time. So that's gonna be quite cool. I think what I need to do is give myself a uh, schedule. So I'm gonna upload every Sunday. I'm gonna try and upload every Sunday. And <clears throat> in addition to that, you'll be able to track some of my progress, you'll be able to watch stuff on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And I think that just leaves me to say really, um, thanks for all your support in 2019. Um, I know it's probably been the least amount active I've been on YouTube and I say that to all the people that are still watching at this stage with all sincerity from the bottom of my heart. I know I've not been as active in watching your channels, engaging with you guys and if you're still watching this, massively, massively appreciate uh, all your views because, you know, for me this started off as what was going to be, I think, a career pathway and progression to something that I enjoyed and it might be something that in the long run I actually do more and more of um, but it's become something that I don't want to let go of I had an initial commitment to um, the reason that I do it now is for two reasons really one is I just enjoy the process and I've learnt loads and it's really benefited me in my business but two I enjoy sharing my experiences because some of my experiences and some of the um, things that I've done over the years I feel will help other people try and aspire to achieve uh, their goals in the long run and that just leaves me with one last thing to say <clears throat> my last goal for 2020 twofold actually one's the splits but the other one is to solve this so if you have any tips or hints on how to solve rubik's cubes hit me up until next time guys remember stay educated Thank <laughs> you.